welcome to another episode of EMA Cloud Rants. Today we are going to discuss application-centric infrastructure management and specifically the acquisition of Sangadi by Virtual Instruments, Jens. Right, I think this is a major shift in the market because like Virtual Instruments is closing its gaps. It has been famous for its storage management in Fiber Channel, but Fiber Channel, hey Thorsten, is it growing? Right. Uh, we, our research uh, very clearly shows that Fiber Channel is stagnant. There is no growth in this market. What is growing is iSCSI. What is growing is hyperconverged. Yeah, hyperconvergence is a big and huge topic. VMware is pushing it like crazy. So does its current arch enemy, Nutanix, which just had its conference in Vienna. So I think this is a huge topic, how to monitor these new kinds of systems. But what about other hypervisors? What about cloud, Torsten? Yeah, that's the interesting piece. That was the missing part that Virtual Instruments did not was not able to do, right? They always had some kind of management for the hypervisor, some kind of network management, but mostly related to the storage network. And today I need to answer the question, what is going to happen? Am I going to be fired if I put a certain kind of workload uh, on a, a certain cloud? How, how much of a risk am I taking if I do that? And especially with uh, the, pre the acquisition uh, earlier this year of Load Dynamics, uh, 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 Virtual Instruments is uh, is developing a good answer and a powerful set of tools uh, that helps me uh, really benefit from the hybrid cloud. Sounds like a mu almost must-have tool set uh, if you are into this kind of monitoring and into the cloud. I will definitely like talk to a couple of our German major VMware and also like Amazon accounts if they don't want to have like a close look at what the virtual instruments is now combinedly conjointly offering together with Xangadi, right? Right. I mean, they're opening up a new market, right? They're going away from only serving the largest of the large, the guys who, who still have the large fiber channel deployments. And they're now uh, taking a look at the mid-market. And they're doing that coming from the storage angle, right? Storage traditionally having been the most critical part of most of those deployments. So now they really have something to address that mid-market and to really address the question of we realize is it enough or do you need maybe something more that goes deeper into your infrastructure well if you're a completely pure vmware shop but who is nowadays right right i mean even if you are you still have hardware right you still have a storage subsystem standing around and network hardware from cisco that you want to support uh, you never uh, and, and that has always been a criticism about we realize right it's by itself it's a great tool but for the real important workloads it's just not not enough right it's very very vmware centric a little bit too much yeah. all right uh, in my opinion uh, Virtual Instruments with this latest acquisition is an EMA vendor to watch. Thank you very much, Jens. And this was another episode of EMA Cloud Rants.